know, it's a funny thing about cars, lady. You actually have to pay for them. Oh, please don't do this. I really need my car to get to work. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, come on. I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, look, I, uh, to... I can show you my boobs. Yes, you could. But unless there's a thousand dollars attached to each nipple, I'm still gonna have to take your car. Move it out. Molly, who are you, Mother Teresa? Mother Ugh. Teresa would pistol with the shit out of you right now. <laughs> My mom's gonna hear about this. Oh, well, you can tell Ugly Betty. If she has an issue with it, she knows where to find me. Coffee? Not asking you. Just pondering out loud to see if I want some. And I think I do. Oh, man. My last quarter was way worse than I thought. Oh, 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 there's this one in Chile. Listen, it's like regular bungee jumping, except you jump out of a helicopter into an active volcano. <sighs> red pens. I'm going to need a lot more red pens. What do you think? Anna. What? What do I think about volcano bungee jumping? Yeah. I think it's literally the worst idea I've ever heard of. Well, you got to do something to get out of this funk. That's right. Undress him with your eyes. Peel off that spandex. Slap that Stop. Stop. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just shocked we have a customer. Oh, my goodness. Lance Humpstrong totally wants to toy your friends. Girl, that man's shorts are so tight, you can see that his little dude is also wearing a teddy bag helmet. <laughs> Girl, he's still looking at you. Look over your right shoulder, casually. He could be the one to end your epic streak of sexual futility. It's self-imposed abstinence. Mm-hmm. What happened to the old self-confidence? I mean, look at me. I'm a six, seven and a half, tops, and I'm up to my vagina in pussy because of self-confidence. Case in point, your, uh, your new barista, Marnie, mm-hmm, I'm going to have her. I don't know anything about her. I don't even know if she's straight or not. But I'm going to make that girl yell so loud. Only dogs are going to be able to hear it. You're sick. <laughs> Look, you see how fast I am with my tongue? <laughs> Charlie, put that thing away. It's hard enough to lure customers in, isn't it? I'm like the Flash with this thing. I'm going to set her pubes on fire. Oh, my God. All right. Crime's not going to fight itself. Isn't that right, girly? <laughs> by your place, so I'm gonna come check on you. Uh, okay, uh, why don't you meet me in the backyard? Here we go. Bottoms up. Thanks. Uh, I went by Mama's grave tonight before coming here. Saw your flowers. My mom's school today. Hard to believe, huh? You do remember that Mom hated Garbras, right? Yeah, but I love them. <laughs> to Mary, to your mom. To mom. Mm. Why don't we take us inside, Dad? I feel like I'm being eaten alive. Um, it's such a gorgeous night. Why don't we just stay out here? Gorgeous? Who are you? More importantly, how are you? 
Oh, well, um, my business is in the toilet. Uh, I can barely pay my bills. Today, my car got repossessed, but other than that, I'm amazing. <sighs> Just feel like I'm failing her. Like I'm failing her memory. Is there someone inside? A uh, cat. A cat? Cat. When did you get a cat? You hate cats. Oh, I love cats. You have a woman in no, there. No, it's a cat. You have a date tonight. At least one of us has a social life. I want to meet her. Well, no, 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 Anna. It's too soon. Can I just introduce you at my own pace? Seriously? Yeah, the timing's horrible. I understand. All right. Oh, shit. Oh. Hi. Who are you? Uh, he's the plumber. Uh, he's here to clean my pipes. Honey, <laughs> that did not come out the way it sounded in your head. D did Mom know you were gay? Well, I mean bisexual. Pansexual? He likes a lot of things. Sexually fluid. Sexually fluid. Wow. Yeah, Mom knew. When she passed away, I felt comfortable enough to... Move about the cabin. Okay, I'm confused. I'm getting old. And I was depressed. Tired of being alone. And I met Chuck. I tell you, I haven't been this happy since... What's this, Mom? This is great. <laughs> I'm happy for you. And I look forward to getting to know you better, Chuck. Call me Mom. Yeah, okay, okay, don't push it. <laughs> Chuck is good, too. I'm gonna... Head out and let you two get back to whatever it is you guys were doing. <laughs> what is so funny? To, how, how does this even work? Oh, honey, it's like a Great Dane trying to mount a chihuahua. Woof. Oh. Hey, what's up, Anna? Coffee shop. Now. But I'm chilling. What's going on? Just trust me. <sighs> well, that wasn't too pathetic. <coughs> Holy shit, that's potent. <coughs> Where'd you get it? Evidence wrong. You're like the worst cop ever. <sighs> so, pitcher or catcher? What? Big gay Ed. Is he a pitcher or is he the catcher? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Knuckleballer for sure. Ah, to your dad. Welcome to the team. What is this? Moonshine. Private blend. Try it. It'll put a little fire in your belly. Oh, my God. It tastes like turpentine. Oh, excuse me, princess. Want to go next door and get you some vodka? <laughs> vodka. No. No. Fine, I should probably just go home. I know you're hurting. <sighs> you're drowning in red ink, you miss your mom, and your dad's probably swallowing the length of some guy named Chuck as we speak. <sighs> but you're my best friend. We're gonna get through this together. Are you stoned? Like totally ripped. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. All right, let me get my liquor and my drugs. Yes. I have to send the report to the insurance company. Do you have their contact information? I don't have it. You know what? Don't worry about it. You can send that to us later. I might you're in for a big payday, huh? No. 
I don't have insurance. Oh. What's that good? All right, boys, let's wrap this up. All right. I think it's time to kill myself. What? No, to show you something, okay? Your place tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Bring a pillowcase. What? Do you trust me? Of course not. Good instincts. Are those flowers or vomit? Look, it's the only one that was clean. Now, what's this all about? Put it on. What? Pull it over your head now. If you're planning on taking advantage of me at my lowest ebb, that is totally uncool. You wish. Put it on. Now, follow me. Come on. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to help you out. Try to get your confidence back. Right. Okay. Ow! Oh, sorry, that was on me. Come on, come on, come on. It's on you. I'm wearing a pillowcase on my head. Dagger shit. What's going on? What's going on is you need a strong medicine to snap you out of this funk that you're in. It's time for you to come face to face with who you are and what you're capable of. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> That's adrenaline, baby. Uh, it's totally normal. You got lots of it. And it's good to get some fresh air after your first time. Come on. Here? Get out the car. Is that my blood? Well, as sure as shit ain't ketchup. <laughs> Do you think that you'll come back? Hell yeah. That was better than sex. You know what? Go home, take an Epsom salt bath, some ibuprofen, you will wake up tip top in the morning. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. There's my big care bear. Hey. What up, baby? Mm. Hey. Good to see you, bud. Bear, this is Anna. Anna Bear. Hi. I have been waiting for this moment. It's so good to have you here, Anna. Come on in. Okay. I like your nickname. Oh, no nickname. When I was born, my parents took one look at me and thought bear. But at least I lost most of that hair the first year. <laughs> what is this place? The answer to all your problems. Really good. Oh, hey. Okay. okay, ladies. Am I about to get murdered? Olivia's gone up. Oh, shit. Do yourself a favor, okay? Stay off Olivia's radar. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, great. Um, who's Olivia? Her. your fingers. Noel, you're up. Cool, huh? Bear and I run this place. We're here most weekends. OK, ladies, if you are not familiar with the rules, you can strike with your fists, elbows, knees, feet, even your head if you so fancy. Who would use her head in a fight? Chokeholds and submissions are totally welcome, but please, no hair pulling, fighting, eye gouging, because then you're being a bitch. And that shit ain't cool. To the center, fighters. The winner gets to put a dollar bill on the wall. Seriously? 
You know all about my problems, and you thought a fight club was the solution? This isn't just a fight club, Anna. This is a shelter, a safe haven for women to come to lift the lid off the fucking pressure cooker of life without societal judgment. By beating the shit out of each other? By respecting each other. You uh, fucked with the wrong family, Charlene. Ah, uh, I warned you and your goofy-ass son, if you want to sell a little weed, that's fine. Anything harder than that, especially in the school, we're going to have a problem. Yeah, we do have a problem, and we're going to solve it tomorrow. Me, you, in the ring. You better bring some Charmin, because I'm going to wipe your ass all over this place. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can really. cancel your hysterectomy, because I'm going to hit you so hard, your vagina's going to pop out. Yeah, we'll see about that. What we'll see is your cobweb-ridden vagina bouncing across the floor. Whatever. You better get used to disappointment, bitch, because it's coming. You know what? How about we raise the stakes, OK? The loser has to leave the club for good. Well, it looks like you're going to be getting your weekends and every other Thursday back, bitch. I'm coming for you. That's a very specific insult, bitch. And that's you guys respecting each other how? Ah, she just pissed I arrested her son yesterday. We'll work it out. By fighting each other? Listen, we have rules, OK? Usually, we draw names, but somebody can challenge you. And if you don't accept it, you're kicked out of the club for good. I think I've heard enough. I'm going home for good now. Later. Hip, 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 hip. What? You can't make me stay. Nope, a bear can. Like Charlene said, Anna, we have rules. And one of them is the first time you show up, you have to fight. So you have two choices. You can either fight one of our other first timers, or you can fight your way out the door past me. It's totally up to you. Mm-hmm. 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 I've never been in a fight before, Charlene. I hate fights. That's exactly why you're here. Come on. You know what this broad does? She's a school librarian. I mean, do they even have libraries anymore? Hasn't she heard of the internet? Come on, man, look at her. A strong breeze could knock her down. Take it to her. Come on. Center stage, ladies. Let's go. Come on. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm in. Carol, nice to meet you, too. Oh, so sweet. Maybe you guys could be friends later. All right, you heard the rules. You go with that. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Man. Okay. Okay, fighters, are you ready? And fight!
rage. Thanks, Mary. Everything scared me in life, but now that I've faced down real hurt and pain in this ring, nothing in the real world remotely scares me anymore. You know, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, so ah, here we go. <sighs> Mama Mare. Ah! Here they come. This club has allowed us to share our stories, to fight it out, and then hug it out. So thank you for allowing me to let go of my anger by letting go of my fist. But also thank you for showing me that underneath this big hairy chest is an even bigger heart. Stop looking at me. When men punch each other, it's normal. We women feel the same way, but society has house trained us to cry our shit out. But thanks to you, Mary, we get to say fuck that. You've helped me and a lot of other women to find the strength to live our truth. And don't worry, I'll take care of your baby girl. If you learn to fight and you never give up in the ring, you will always beat the shit out of life. And girls never back down from anything. Oh. Why didn't you tell me about this? How did she not tell me about this? Therapist patient confidentiality. All of us were your mom's patients. And she was our therapist. No one is meant to know about this place. And sure, there's the new breed like Olivia who discovered us and wants to change our ethos, but Bear and I try to run this club like your mother would have wanted. And that's why I brought you here, Fred. Because you need this place just as much as her patients. Ugh. You guys, this is crazy. I think you owe it to her to give this a shot. She created a place that helped a lot of us. I... I don't even know how to fight. It would take a miracle worker to help me. <laughs> I think I may know just the guy. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. <laughs> so Seriously? That's who you want to train me? Mm -hmm. This is like the worst lip syncing ever. <laughs> Look at this one. How do you know that guy? Oh, I arrested him a few times. You know, drunk and disorderly, public nudity, that sort of thing. Oh. <laughs> one time he ate his own underwear because he thought the cotton fabric would absorb the alcohol before he took a breathalyzer test. And did it work? No. <laughs> Murphy trained Sugar Ray, you know? Who was a world champion in, like, five different divisions. I mean, if the man who trained Sugar Ray isn't good enough for you, maybe you should quit before you begin. Oh, okay, so you're telling me I shouldn't judge this particular book by its very rum-soaked cover? Exactly. I mean, look at you, princess. You are a book that I want to take to bed and read all night long. Oh. But then you find out the book's quite dark and depressing and currently lacking a shot at redemption. So maybe this man could be the one to change the narrative. Hey, man, charge a tent. I got one dollar. <laughs> Come on, unbutton that. Let's see him. Oh, my God. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's fucking doing it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, my God. He's fucking doing it. He's doing it. Ah! Keep going, man. Oh, oh. Can you call an ambulance or something? Too soon. That will happen at least three more times tonight.
you learn to fight. And you never give up in the ring. You will always beat the shit out of life. And if you learn to fight, and you never give up in the ring, you will always beat the shit out of life. And girls, never back down from anything. Quite the display last night. I don't think I've ever seen anyone take a dive from that height and not spill a single drop of their drink. <laughs> well, my drinking does defy gravity. Have we met? I'm a... Murphy. Yeah, I know who you are. They tell me you're a legend, and so I'm gonna take their word on that and ask you to train me. Train me to do what? Ride a bike? To fight. I want you to train me to fight. Avec plus d'hommes. It looks like you might need it. Merci beaucoup, Chloé. Your expired visa secret is still safe with me. I don't mean to be rude, but aren't you a little old to be going pro? I don't want to go pro. I, it's for a... Uh, I'm part of a fight club. I'm sorry, you're in a what? Yeah, a fight club. A fight club? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you hear that, Chloe? Fight Club. That, that sounds so dangerous. I know I'm not Sugar Ray, all right? But I'm in desperate need of a coach, and short of any other options, well, tag. You're it. I got a news flash for you, Twiggy. There are a lot of easier ways to make a buck than fighting, okay? My friend runs the booby trap, and you're not uh, half bad looking for your age. If you want to get. It's not about money. Everything is about the money. Oh, really? Well, not by the looks of you. There are a lot less bruising hobbies than fighting, like uh, crocheting. So if it isn't about money, what is it about? Well, apparently if you fight someone who is also trained to hurt you, then your fears seem a lot smaller in comparison. It's like once you face that kind of potential pain, you build some sort of mental fortitude to face anything that life has to throw at you. Or something like that. If. Yeah. If you had your boobs done. No! I am sick and tired of my demons getting the better of me, and I want to punch them square in the fucking face. So, sorry. Are you in or are you not? Hey, hey! It shows your tits, guy. Oh, no way! Oh, it. No you way! You were epically wasted last night. I was. Oh, I was. <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed the show. And don't forget to tip your waitress, please. Well, move along now, kids. We're trying to have a little adult time here. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, our adult time would be rated R for raunchy. <laughs> How about R for repugnant? Oh, oh you bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. What? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. 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 Your turn. Your what? turn. Oh. Your turn. Oh. Your turn. Oh. What's the heck gonna hear about this? <laughs> yeah! Hi. Hey, I like you, Heidi. Anna. Okay, Anna. let's go with that. Now, I'm gonna give you a test. If you pass that test, I'm gonna train you. Oh, are you gonna go all Mr. Miyagi on me and make me paint your house or something like that? Can I have that, please? Let me have this, please. Thank you. All you gotta do is open up this watermelon. Strength and balance. This test has both. Now, without holding it down, I want you to punch this watermelon in its smug little face until it pops. Oh, and no punching down. Okay. It's just gonna keep moving out of the way. Yes, it is. Like all of your opponents, this watermelon does not want to get opened up. That's why it's got such a thick skin. It's gonna require a lot of force. But like most of your opponents, it also has a weak spot. And you're gonna find it. One more time. Oh, and take your shoes off. Are you kidding? This sand is like 100 degrees. Fighting also requires exceptional footwork. Let's go.
You did it? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. <sighs> we start at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. <sighs> Is that some sort of old school training they did with Sugar Ray? <sighs> no, I saw it on YouTube. <sighs> 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 saw you at the club last night. Oh, right. I I'm sorry, we never had the chance to meet. I'm, uh... Dead to me. Excuse me? You're dead to me. You and all the other head cases that come into that place. You know, maybe you should replace that green shit with something stronger. You seem a little uptight. Y pareces una perrita asustada. What? Será un placer desrozarte. What did she just say? Who knows? Probably something about putting you in the hospital. Either way, you're not going to be welcomed at the club pretty soon because we're bringing in a fresh breed of women. A place like that should be about real competition, real fighters, not a support group for basic bitches. <laughs> you don't get to decide who comes to the club. Well, maybe not, but if you do decide to keep showing up, then one day you're going to find yourself standing across from me. And when that day comes, I'm going to hurt you so badly. Think it over. Make the smart decision. Cheers. I'm not afraid of...
Neo in the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Lizzo. Come on, Sam McLaughlin. Come on, bitch. You sing with some puppies, bitch. Hey, don't fuck with my puppies, bitch. Up next, Rocky. I think I'm just gonna... Just give me a second. That's who I'm fighting? Mm -hmm. She's got a broken arm. Do I go easy on her, or what do I do? Your second fight in your Sarah Connor now? It just doesn't seem fair. On you or her? Look at the bright side. Afterwards, you can say something cool and ironic, like, that fight was disarming. I'm not gonna say that. You'll miss an opportunity of a lifetime. Fighters ready! Oh, watch out for our right. That's not even funny. And fight! Go, go, go. Foot! Her right foot. I should have been more specific. I'm sorry. Anna? Anna. Hello again. Oh. Oh. Wow. That fight was, uh, disarming. Yeah, well, in my opinion, it probably would have been better to keep it at arm's length. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are you going? Well, to look for my dignity. I know it's around here somewhere. But seriously, I'm fine. I appreciate you taking care of me, too. Thank you. Well, that's okay. I'm a lousy doctor anyway. I went to Ohio State. I was drunk half the time. Oh, I thought I sensed incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roy. And evil. I also sense the presence of evil among us. Hi. You, uh, you ready to go? Ready to go where? Uh, Olivia and I, we're gonna have, uh... Some drinks, a couple drinks. Hmm, that's wonderful. Yeah, have you had a chance to meet Anna yet? Yeah, actually, we had a, uh, a delightful little chat earlier today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We sure did, and uh, oh, I thought I overheard her ask someone about the best medication was for syphilis. So maybe you can pick Dr. Roy's brain about that over drinks tonight. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I shouldn't keep you two. Syphilis, yep. It's a real thing, you know? Took down Hitler when half the world couldn't. You're late. It's 7 a.m., like you said. If you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late. That's very confusing. Don't let it happen again, okay? And if you do, I'm gone. Put that on. From what I hear, you get punched in the head, you fall down, makes it kind of hard to win a fight. So how are we gonna fix that? I don't know. Chloe here's gonna punch you in the head a few times. What? How's that feel? Really uncomfortable. Okay, it's an uncomfortable thing to get punched in the head. No, 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 no. What? Isn't it better if I try to fight her back? No, you need to learn how to take a punch. Let's go. What? Oh, oh, oh 
Jesus, that hurts. Yes, it does, because it's painful to train. It's painful to compete. But there's nothing more pleasurable than the thrill of victory. And isn't it you that wanted this celebration of the human spirit both in and out of the ring? Huh? This is only going to help you. Oh, uh, uh, oh, this is bullshit. How much longer am I going to have to take this? Until you can't take it anymore. Oh, oh. But I can't take it anymore. What am I missing? Drink? Yeah. Yeah. All bad bitches go to heaven. Break a heart, make a legend. not open. Oh, the door was open, so I just thought... We have an opening tonight. The artist was bumping in. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, at that coffee shop. I challenge you to a fight at the Fight Club. Are we even allowed to talk about the Fight Club? What can I do for you? Oh, right. Um, I'm actually looking for a job. I have lots of cafe experience. I'm not the one you should be speaking with. Oh. Who might that be? In there. Oh. Just, OK, thanks. Hi, um, oh. How are you doing here? You little peeping Tom. I mean, I know my. Ass looks great in these pants, but damn. <laughs> hey, Olivia. I, no, no. I, I, I am actually a huge art lover, and so the art oh. um, drew me in. Yes, Larry is mm. incredible. Right? Yeah, yeah. I know. It was a, uh, it was a real coup to get him to open here. I bet. And you work out in a gallery. Yeah, you can, uh, you can work out anywhere you want when you own the space. You own the gallery. Mm-hmm. Actually, I own the whole building. Oh, wow. That's uh, super baller. Yeah, baller is great. That's... Anna, you're a liar. What? Yeah, you don't give a shit about art. You don't care about Larry. I love Larry. You don't even know who he is, I do you? I sure do. You came here because you wanted to get the lowdown on my date with the good doctor, didn't you? Uh-huh, you filthy little what? minx, you. No, no, I did not. <laughs> so picture this. No. Two perfect no. naked no. bodies no. coming together as one oh. flesh for hours of pure, unadulterated, would it uh, yeah, I just, no. Pleasure. I don't care. Over. I don't. I love Larry. Larry's mixed media. My favorite. I just, the more mixed up, the better. You should have seen us. Oh! Actually, you totally can, because we recorded the whole thing. I'll just pop it on over to you, now that I have your email. <laughs> oh, right. No, I just... Oh, that... uh, Anna, I just wanted to tell you, we have a really strict employment policy. Yeah, we, we just don't hire weak-minded blondes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Walk away, mom jeans. It's, uh, I'm not... Walk away. These are tight. Uh-huh. You know, Chloe, you want that visa? I say we get married. Hey, Frenchie, heads up. Let's go. Can I finish my drink? No. I knew she'd be back.
So what's next? Not bad. Great. <sighs> Hello, mister. <laughs> I'll be your doctor for the day. Wow, shit. Um, I, I didn't I didn't know you worked here. Well, yeah, I'm a doctor. Yeah. It was the only hospital in town, so. Right, yeah, well, how convenient. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, look, I was just sitting in front of the computer. I saw your name pop up on the admittance list. What's going on? Well, you know, oh, no, 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 you don't have to look. I'm just tell you. Oh, it's uh, not inserted. The kit. Well, that's relief. Yeah. If it was the former and not the latter, I'd say you belonged in Tijuana, not the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> you in any pain right now? I think I'm dying of embarrassment, yeah? <laughs> well, I'd lay low with the uh, 
you know, sexual activity for a week or so. That won't be a problem. I'm on a self-imposed abstinence. That's very strong-willed of you. Thanks. So, um, what about you? What about me? How was, uh, how was your date with Olivia? Oh. Did you, uh, Olivia. did you practice abstinence? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, things got, uh, yeah, a little crazy. Oh. That night we drank a lot of tequila, you know, and, well, I wasn't myself, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, no, no, you don't have to explain. Doctor, no. we need you to scrub up. 22-year-old male GSW to the chest. Ambulance is about a minute out. Okay, Miss Winko, I gotta go. I'll see you later, though, okay? So, you're a coconut lady, huh? Yep, that's me. Might as well make that my legal name from now on, right? Lean back. Okay. It's Charlene, you know what to do. Hey C, I really need a drink. Meet me at Cheeky's? a drink with Charlene. Did you get a spray tan? No, I was uh, working in the garden. With a bronzing hose? Shut up. Is Chuck here? No, he's working late. He's got a big divorce case. Okay. Well, I can, uh, I can join you for a drink. Normally, I would love to, but, um, I've got some place to go. Really? That's right. I got invited to a party. The guy came in and was handing these party carrots out right before you came. Orgy, Dad. This doesn't say party. It says orgy. You've been invited to an orgy. That O looks just like a P, and who in the hell writes in cursive anymore? Dad, just go home, wait for Chuck, have all the Chuck sex you want. Have a Chuck orgy. Are you okay? You seem upset. No, it's just... I never expected to be with my dad in a gay bar talking about orgies. Are you embarrassed by me? No, I'm not embarrassed. I'm just, I'm still processing it all. I've been processing this most of my life. I'm done. I am who I am, and this is who I'm going to be. I thought hard to find myself. What about you? I love you, sweetie. This hand goes out, this hand's up. Bang, 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 bang. Uppercut. Okay, again, ready? One, one, two, three. Again, bang. That's it. One, two, three.
babysitting. I don't have any kids, but we can work something out. That's my coat. You get away from him. Ye to mari mada nahi kar sakta. I don't know what that means, but this fight club sounds a little ruthless. You wouldn't stand a chance. What'd they say to me? It doesn't really matter. What matters is both these ladies seem to be taking you very seriously. Congratulations, Anna. That fight was incredible. Thanks. Hold on, can I talk to you for a second? What do you want, Roy? Well, ever since you came into the ER, I just feel like you've been going out of your way to avoid me. I was wondering why. Just been winning more. Haven't needed your services. You should probably leave. What? Why? You shouldn't see this next fight. Well, great. Now all I want to do is see this next fight. Challenged all three. There is no rule against it. Should be. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, fighters. Same rules as one on one. For this, it's three on one. Oh my God. Ready? Fight! tomorrow night. Quit. I quit! What? I'm done, Charlene, okay? I'm done pretending. I'm not my mom. And you never will be if you quit. Come on, you've worked so hard. Yeah, and what's it gotten me? I can take and throw a punch? Great. But out here in the real world, my life is still a shit pile. If you don't find Olivia tomorrow, you can never come back. Well, it's probably best for everyone, all right? 
Sorry, I'm done. Anna! Anna! Damn it! Damn it! Hey, Twiggy, you're supposed to be at the gym. I told you if you were late again, we're done, and you're very late. But because of your exceptional progress, I'm going to give you one free pass, so let's go. Or we could just take in the scenery. Nothing's changed, Mark. I don't know what I thought this fight would have given me, but still have all the same problems. Totally broke. No closer to reopening a business, and I have absolutely no prospects of turning things around. And you know what the icing on the shit cake will be? Olivia. I mean, this isn't a librarian or a woman with a broken arm. This is someone who can do long-lasting damage. I'm too scared to fight her. So... Quitting. But you've trained for this, and I wouldn't let you fight if I didn't think you were ready. All you need to do now is leave behind fear and doubt and take that final step to bravery. It's easier said than done. How do I do that? I'll show you. Okay. You go like this. I don't get it. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Like that. See, when you're fighting Kung Fu Barbie tonight, you don't think about anything else but this. Outside the ropes is fear. But you take one single step into the ring, and you are brave. And the same thing goes for this world, Anna. The only thing that separates fear from bravery is one small step. So, are you going to take it? You got that from YouTube, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's good, though, huh? And you probably gave the same great advice to Sugar Ray, huh? Pretty much. But it's scary getting up there in front of thousands of adoring fans, especially when those songs don't sound the same live as they do when you record them. Wait. Hold on. You trained Sugar Ray the band? Yeah. I mean, only for their first world tour, but those things are grueling. I mean, Mark <laughs> McGrath, he was ripped. Of course. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, I did. Every morning is a misunderstood classic. Misunderstood is an understatement. <laughs> hey, you got this. If all else fails, use your head. Hey. You never told me what I owe you for helping me out. Just pay my bar bill. Dad? Chuck? What happened? Let Chuck finish before you hung up on him. I, I had a mild heart attack. I could be home tonight. Oh, God. Well, what triggered it? What the hell are you doing to him in the bedroom? Actually, it was on top of a washing machine. A classic. What is she doing here? You really called her before me? I needed her to bring something. It's the club, or at least the property. Yeah, I knew. Your mom did more than fight at that club. Your mom owned it. And now you do. And you're homeless after all. You should sell it. Pay off your debts. You know, start afresh. I'm gonna head over there now. 
get in one last fight before you shut us down. Roy. What up? How you feeling, Ed? Good. Feel really good. Yeah, well, if you're feeling really good, then you shouldn't be in the hospital. I'm taking off, but uh, Dr. Lee's gonna come in and discharge you. Thanks. I'll see you. Go get him before Chuck and I do. Oh, my God, that is some ginger candy. Get it. <laughs> Go get it, girl. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Don't ever pass out inside of me again. So... Your washing machine, man, huh? He loves his spin cycle. I'm kind of a permanent press guy myself. Yeah, so... Roy, wait. Look, please, I... I just want to apologize for ignoring you. It's just that... I really like you. And... It's not my place to judge who you have sex with. I did not have sex with Olivia. Why? I mean, did it hurt too much when she laid on top of you with her razor blade nipples? <laughs> okay, yeah, well, listen, that night got a little crazy, okay? Yeah, we went back to our place. Obviously, both had too much to drink. Things escalated. <clears throat> it's weird. I couldn't get it up. <laughs> well, yeah, well, your sympathy for my situation is uh, it's overwhelming. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I mean, a good doctor knows they have pills for that. Small, blue. Okay, I couldn't get it up. Because I was thinking of you. Wow. Let me clarify that statement. Okay, yeah, I'd love to see you walk that one back. I couldn't get it up with her because I wanted to be with you. Because I can, you know, I can get it up. I oh. Mean, like, I'm talking, I can way oh. up, like, way up. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'll take you right in that closet in Rocky World. Oh. Right now. Wow. I got a break. I'm well, done for the day. Okay. Um, it's a little bad timing, don't you think? Well, oh. we're 20 yards away from where my dad is recovering from a sexually related heart attack. Not to mention I have to fight ninja cheerleaders tonight. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna fight Olivia? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess I am. All right, well, at least let me give you a ride to the club. A little ride in the closet first, though, huh? Fuck it. This is a big one, ladies! One of the most anticipated matchups in the history of our club. Let's get prepared to run common phrase, but it is federally trademarked. All right, let's bring out our challenging weighing in at a total skinny bitch. She's undefeated. It's Olivia Mayhem
just one small step. What are the odds on Anna? A thousand to one? I got a dollar for that. She ain't gonna win anyway. Thank you, girl. Fighters, ready! And fight! You ready to bleed? Yeah, but not for like another month. This is the wrong time for a period joke! Get up. Come on, girl. Get up. Come on. Good. Good. Everyone knows you're weak, just like your mom. Get your feet moving, wrap your hands up, tie your hair back, let's get it out. Tight fist, knuckle crack, knock out, war crack. Flow like a butterfly, bite like a shark, no ammunition.
Sasha? Okay? I don't know. We should be checking on her right now. Hey! I've never been more attracted to you than I am right now. No. I just made a thousand dollars. Ding! You only got a dollar on me. I didn't have any coin. That was the most badass thing I have ever seen. What the hell were those headbuds? I think all the practicing with Murphy, I found out that I have a really hard head. Oh, oh. shit. Ow. Yeah, it's like steel in there. One of the hardest noggins I've ever encountered. That hurts. Stop. I can hear clanging in my brain. Clanging. <sighs> oh, shit. Betty. Bitch really did sell us. Escape player. I'm on it. What the hell is going on? Well, everybody listen up. We're about to get braided. There's a lock in the door to the way out. You're going to go through a hole in the fence. Then under the freeway, you'll be home free. Go! I was sure this was mine. Be we come. One hell of a fighter. Good job. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Earth to Anna, it's all these headbutts. Come on, girl boys, a goddamn raid. Let's go. My mom built this ship, and now I'm the captain. So I'm going down with it. Okay, well, I'm a cop, so I'm gonna scoot out. But I'm so proud of you tonight. And I got priors. But hey, good job, Captain. Anna, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. No, you get out of here. This is not worth you losing your medical license, all right? Even if you are a lousy doctor. <laughs> What are you in for? Uh, assault and battery, gross negligence, unlawful assembly, disturbing the peace, and um, promoting fights without a license. I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Wincombe. Yeah, present. You made bail. You're out of here. Have that kind of lazy cash laying around? Oh, you're right. But everyone pitched in. Who's everyone? The girls at the club. I passed the hat around, and we had more than enough to make your bail. Wow. Don't be so surprised. You did something that no one else can do. You defeated Olivia. Oh, you are Dorothy, girl. And ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. No, 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 no. Not literally. Not literally. Okay. She's going to be in the hospital for a few days. And considering the number of girls she sent in there, it is more than fair. Yeah. Anyways, it's nice the club went out on a high note. I'm not closing the club, Charlene. What? 
I got a lot of thinking done while I was doing hard time on the inside. You weren't even in for a night. And yes, I do own that property, and yes, I could do whatever I want with it, but I can't sell the club. You need the money. We all need that space. We all need that community. What are you getting at? I'm gonna use the property as collateral. I'm gonna get that loan, open a new cafe. This way the club stays open, I start a new business. It's a win-win, eh? Look at you. <laughs> Look how far you've come. Mm -hmm. We did it, Mary. We did it. One small step at a time. But first, I gotta make sure I don't spend a longer stint in the big house for all my crimes and misdemeanors, you know? You're gonna need a good lawyer. Define good. I'm a divorce lawyer. I usually don't handle criminal cases, but I am an excellent lawyer. He's excellent at everything. Jeez, oh. Dad, keep it in your pants. And while I'm in jail, you keep it in your pants. If it does go to trial, how much time is she looking at? Well, if she's guilty on all charges, probably two years. Oh. Maybe I should just plead guilty. Why would you do that? Because I am guilty. Shh. And you told me that the judge would show leniency if I was honest. Well, most of them would, but I hear our judge is a real ball breaker. So our best bet is to take this to a jury. Yeah, but you know, sometimes in life, you just need to stand up and take responsibility for your actions. And today is my day to do just that. All right. No. The Honorable Judge Andrews presiding. <sighs> She's gonna eat us alive. Please be seated. What is wrong with you? Well, I always secretly help for interesting cases, and it looks like I got my wish. As my old friend Mary would say, if life isn't interesting, then you're just not trying hard enough. Chuck, you know all that shit I said about taking responsibility for my actions? Uh -huh. Today is not the day. Counselor? How does your client plead? Not guilty. Counselor. Not guilty. Anna, this is incredible. We didn't have this many customers in a month at the old place. I know. We've got happy customers. We've got money in the cash register. It feels very unnatural. But I think I can get used to it. You ready to go? Yeah. Oh, will you cover for me? Absolutely. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> oh, hey, don't forget those handcuffs. Always got them on my belt, baby girl. What? I told you I was going to have her. <laughs> and you know what I said about my tongue setting her pubes aflame? Stop. Didn't happen. Because she doesn't have any. Okay. Ha -ha. Stop. Fresh as a daisy down there. Stop. Smooth. Smooth. I am begging you to stop. Like a hairless cat. <laughs> I think I'm in love. try to define me by pinpointing where I'm from. I thought it should matter, but it got to me. So I learned eight different languages, and now I'm from everywhere. <sighs> you look like your size. Better than Tate, that's for sure. Oh, I got plans for Tate. Oh, is that an allusion to future sexual encounter? Yeah, actually, no, I'm really into arts and crafts, but I like the way you think. <laughs> Joanna! Get your ass in the ring. Oh, I gotta go get my ass in the ring. All right, well, I'm gonna watch it all the way. Are you sure you two wanna do this? Oh, hell yeah. 
I've always wanted to punch her in the face. Who says dreams don't come true? Having a doctor for a boyfriend is gonna be real useful in a few seconds. Already has been. He gave me a breast exam last night. Sure didn't take very long because you got tiny titties. <laughs> okay, I got no comeback. <laughs> but all I want to say is thank you for everything. You turned my life around. You turned your life around, friend. I just gave you a nudge in the right direction. All right, this is getting too sentimental. When do we get to hit each other? Bring it on! Back up, back up, back up, fighters. And... Fight! Bonjour, Anna. Ça va? Hey, yeah, I'm great. Just here to pay up Murphy's tab. How much does he owe you? What the f? I'm not afraid of you, Cobra Kai. I'm gonna hurt you so badly. You see how fast I am with my tongue? Uh, Lousy doctor, anyway. I was drunk half the time. Woof. Oh my god. Bitty Holbrick. Yes, Please be seated. To the center! Fighters! A fight club. <laughs> Another drink? You better get used to disappointment, bitch. Back down. But I want it for later, so let's dance 
Being like a drum. My heart is being like a 